Well, we made it to Rhode Island, Newport to be exact, the Newport Marriott. <sighs> All right, that was uh, a good bit of traveling. Nothing too bad. You're flying Delta, you're flying through Atlanta, no matter what. So we essentially, we started way up here, Cincinnati area, went all the way down to Atlanta, down around here, and then all the way back up to Rhode Island. That map is not to scale, by the way. We're gonna walk around the hotel a little bit, check it out, see what there is to see, and get a feel, get a lay of the land. Very business appropriate, I know. Cats and coffee, coffee. All right, let's go check out the lobby. Welcome to the Newport Marriott in Newport, Rhode Island. Very elegant. Meeting area, ballroom. All the rooms overlooking it, that's pretty cool. These are some very odd chairs. In front of a very large. I mean, the water sound is relaxing, so I, I can see that, but the chairs are just odd. Relaxing water and chain to the ceiling and floor. Good morning, everyone. It's in Newport, Rhode Island. Say hello, Shriver. Word. This is a lot easier to do when there's literally no human beings around. Ugh. It's time for coffee. The weather's nice, which I'll take. Hopefully it stays like this. That's a properly old looking building. These are proper views on views. A bunch of little islands. No changes in elevation, which is kind of weird. Nice little outside seating area at this restaurant. That's not open. So this is a nice view. It's rather pretty here, so you know. Not much to talk about other than the fact that uh, we're in Rhode Island, we're on the water, plus oyster restaurants and pretty scenery. Okay, yeah, that's all I got. How you doing? <laughs> oh, that is quite a picture. Yeah. That's what you call good vlog content. It was the first time I've actually traveled anywhere. I'm like, I guess I'm gonna bring a GoPro and like, there you go. You know? That house costs a couple bucks. So we go from palatial mansions and palaces to the Chinese key house. Complete with a cave. Oh, tea house. That makes more sense. <laughs> Complete with a spooky looking cave. Light. It's properly creepy too. Which is cool. Yeah, they weren't kidding when they said Mansion Row or whatever they called it. Here's a uh, tunnel number two. Oh, definitely less creepy. Definitely. It looks pretty cool on the GoPro though. No offense, Chris, but it looks like you're a saint or something because the light's kind of shining around you. <laughs> ah, this is where the guy was talking about where it gets rough. Yep. So no more actual path. Apparently there's the whole walking and filming with a GoPro thing I haven't quite mastered. If I fall into the water, guys, just uh, say something nice and maybe try to recreate the footage. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just about took a dive over the fence on that thing. That is cool. Uh, yes, please. What is this called? Cliff walk? Rhode Island, oh yeah, this picture right here is going on the gram. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't make fun of myself, and it would really hurt my feelings when other people did it. <laughs> it's a good defense mechanism, right? I definitely need to be oh, That's a properly long drop. You can totally cliff dive from here. Yeah. Millions, <laughs> literally. It's definitely a little bit more rugged than I was picturing in my head. Yeah. And not any straight trails here.
This little guy died right when we got to the truck. After the cliff excursion. What did we say this was called? The White Horse? Yeah. Oldest pub in the United States of America, according to their webpage. Yo. In 1873, or yeah. 1673. All right, that's properly old and historic looking, so let's do it. Cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, not only that, but I see lobster and swordfish and Beef Wellington. Let's get the beef Wellington. For Forty-two <laughs> bucks a piece. Can we get three of those, please? Uh, you get some shellfish. I mean, come on, those are forty-six. Uh, quick little update. What are you fucking eating here? I mean, <laughs> quick little update. I'm not putting this on my expense report. So. Two hours later. Well met, Newport, Rhode Island. The last vestige of a sunset, crescent moon up in the sky, all in the same shot. I don't know how cool that actually looks, but it looks pretty dope from this view. I have no idea if you can see me, but this is going to conclude the day in Newport. It's a long day. It's a fun day. Yeah. That's all I got. Shh. There's nothing to hear. That still kind of trips me out. There's no noise. Seagulls. That's it. Seagulls and boats and water. And... Mr. Withrow, how do you feel about Rhode Island? It's pretty cool. It, it dies down a little at night, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the understatement of the night. I like how we, we were... Earlier in the trip, we were like, how could you possibly, you know, turn in at like 9 o'clock or 9.30 when you're out traveling? You know, it's like, literally everything is closed. Yeah. It's not that much light. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, if, if the footage from over there where we were taking pictures makes it into the video, there was literally not the sound of another human being. A lot of good, uh, a lot of good views, though, today. Definitely a lot of good views to couple it off with some nice fire views. You look very, you look regal is the word I want. <laughs> like you should have a crown on, like a oh, king, yeah. like a throne. That's, that's, that's with your arms on the things too and the fire coming up. <laughs> All hail, King Shriver. All right, we made it back to the hotel room. We did a lot today. Explored a bunch. You'll see footage or you've just seen footage of the cliff walk. Just like a three, four mile trail along the coastline, just untouched, I hesitate to call it wilderness, but untouched cliffs, beaches, rocks. And on the other side, palatial palaces. I mean, I don't even think it's fair to call these mansions because yeah, these things were next level. Still, I'm struggling to call them mansions. Uh, that's not mansions like I thought of them. So at any rate, but I'm exhausted, my feet hurt. We walked, I think we did 20,000 steps today and it certainly feels like it. So for now, I'm gonna sign off. Leave a like and a comment. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.